Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel again. I'm Eduardo Golfan, and in today's video, guys, we are going to answer the question from one of my subscriber who asked me through email. He said, first of all, I would like to thank you for all your efforts to create very valuable videos about programming. But, but I have a question. I exported my MS Access table with auto number in my SQL, but the auto number is no longer functional. How to make it auto number again? So this is the question. So how to fix? What's this, guys? So this is my um, sample, my SQL workbench, and I have already created a schema. Uh, and a schema, guys, this is another term for database. So product database, and there's no table yet. And to the other side, I have my sample Microsoft Access database and I have one table, the products table, and this is the sample data. And what we're going to do is we will export this table to uh, MySQL. So how to export? Let's right click and then click export, then go to ODBC database. And then we can write like for example, M is Access products and then click OK so here we go asking for the DSN name or data source name um, actually guys I have created uh, a DSN and if you have not watched my video or you don't know how to create a data source name kindly watch this video because you cannot proceed if you don't know how to create so let us proceed Click this machine data source and I have created in this um, data source name. So add products and click OK. And close. So it's pretty simple. Just like nothing's happened. But if we're going to visit the MySQL workbench and then we will click refresh. So as you can see guys, M is Axis product. So this is the table that we have exported from our Microsoft Axis. So if we look at the details, okay, let us uh, expand. So we have 46 rows. So number 65 and let us check. So 46 and here, we have 46 returned so and then the last is 65 and also 65 let us close this so this is our data and now next thing to do guys is so that we can use this data we will create a link cable so how to create so go to external data new data source and then from database and then let us select this SQL server and then link to the data source click ok and then let's go back to machine data source and then let's check this add products and click this uh, we only have one table then click ok so just click and here we go so let us check this guys ok so we have already linked the my SQL, but the problem, guys, the first problem, as you can see, we cannot able to add a records. I like this one. Here, there's a new we can add. It's like this one. But here, we cannot able to add. So this is a read only. And if we look at the my SQL workbench, this is read only. We cannot also add. So how to fix this? How to make this editable? So all we have to do, guys, is to um, configure a little bit of data type. So how to configure? So just click this um, open range or um, tool icon, and um, here product code. Let's check um, primary key. P key stands for primary key, and this is not null, unique. And also, you can uh, check her the abbreviation, guys. So, and also, um, ID primary key. And let us apply, guys. Apply the script. 
I hope there's no error. Okay, successfully applied to the database finish. So let us go to our um, columns. So as you can see, now it's editable and there's no read only. So let's go back to the this one. Close. Close also. Let us refresh, guys. To refresh, no need to relink, but just um, click this refresh link. Okay, refresh and then let us open. Okay, here we go, guys. So we can we can now add a record. For example, um, in zero ninety five, and then something like that. So, there's a near ODBC insert on link table MS Access Products spelled because um, this one, we have to write it manually because this is not an auto number. So, this is um, the question of my subscriber because it's not an auto number. Supposedly, it will automatically generate a serial number or series number. So, let us cancel. So, how to enable the auto number? So, let's go back to our MySQL and then let's go back here. As you can see, guys, um, some of the data type is AI. So, AI means um, this is not artificial intelligence, but this is auto increment. This one. So, let us check auto increment. But, um, okay. So, it should be because it should be okay and apply okay apply the script okay successfully applied click finish and now let us go back sorry okay so that we can watch remember guys this is 65 and for example okay so 66 another sorry. 67 so automatically generates a series number guys and let us check it here refresh okay 67 uh, 66 and 67 this is the data that we have inputted in our microsoft access database so as simple as that so if you have some questions or um, comments feel free to comment it down below that's all guys uh, thank you and see you to my next video